that's more a historical thing. And being here, maybe that's a, that's really rings true. I think historically we should win these games. But what's happening right now in the Premier League is there's an equilibrium around physical potential, tactics are very similar, and so you have to bring your A game to win these games. Everyone can run these days and everyone knows tactics, and so that difference, that point of difference, is not so easy to find. So expectations from fans historically are always big. When it comes down to it, I'm 50-50 on this game tonight. James? Yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, Aston Villa came here last season, turned Arsenal over. They're a really exciting side. They've got a lot of good attacking players. This week, I think it, it does feel like a big week for Mikel Arteta. We were saying before, you know, he had two home games, chance to win both, going to, I think, the top four, albeit with an extra game played. If he comes away from these two without a win, that is going to increase the pressure because as much as fans are on board with kind of the long-term project the club are trying to introduce, the young players, the short-term reality is results. You know, it's the games at the weekend and that's what Arsenal needs to produce. Coming here always reminds me of Arsene Wenger because obviously the times that we came here. Is this not what you expected in a post Arsene Wenger era? You've seen what's happened at Old Trafford, my club, whereby post Rats Ferguson, the sort of turmoil, the, the transition. Is this not something that's just normal and actually everyone needs to relax? Yeah, it is something that's very normal and everyone did say be careful what you wish for when Arsene Wenger leaves. But, um, Fans are reactionary. You want something to happen quicker than it will do. And it's like taking a long process. And now that the manager that's come in that's not highly experienced, it's hard to back the process, even though a lot of fans can see what Ray's taken the club. We don't know how soon the club will get back to winning ways. So at the moment, eighth finish, top in the table now, that's not a positive look for Arsenal, but fans have to be patient. So you mean to go back to the Arsenal Banger days? Well, you're well, getting well, a tough time. I mean, we need to celebrate being in the top four. I mean, we can't even get close now. Do you mean regret the reaction at times, maybe, to Arsene Wenger? Of course, some of them were over the top. Um, and it's, it's a man who has a legacy and has built Arsenal. Although the transition to Emirates hasn't turned into what it has been, we haven't won anything since we've left here, uh, mm -hmm. nothing major anyway. Obviously, you'd want to have that manager back, a manager of that you know, level. Do, do you back Arteta? Do you, as fans, the three of you, individually, do you back Arteta? I, I do. I, I, I back what he's doing now. I think during his reign, he's had a number of versions. We had a version when the FA Cup, and we, he's won behind closed doors, basically. None of us could, could connect with it. And then we went to the next phase where we had to clean out the dressing room for about some food characters to make sure he, he had his own people. He's got his people this summer. Now, some people say he's bought a team to compete with Everton in two years' time, because we're, we're the youngest team in the Premier League. Right? So once you've done that, you have to decide what's happening here. This is the project we're on. This is our strategy. I can sit back and wish for better days, but this is it. We have the youngest team in the league, and now we have to hold on to that and allow an environment for these young players to develop. James, is the problem in Arsenal, it feels like it, there's not just Mikel Arteta, there's a lot of people are both fit, they're almost leaning on the job. Look, there's a lot of young people in very high-powered jobs within Arsenal. You're not just talking about Mikel Arteta, you're talking about Edu, the technical director, relatively young, the chief executive, you know, Ivan Ketchum as well. Learning on the job, very possibly. But I mean, I think if you go down that route, and Arsenal very clearly gone down that route, even in the academy, it's run by Per Mertesacker, that's his first job post-playing. I think with that, you have to have a degree of patience. You know, if you make that choice, if you put these people in those positions, and you supplement that with young players too, it's very clear what the strategy is. And it's very clear that that's not one that's focused on the immediate term, the very, very short term. It's an uncomfortable reality for Arsenal fans, but I don't really think we'll see the fruits of this project, this idea, for maybe two to three years. And, but people are tired of that. You know, no one wants to hear that. There's not enough patience around. It's a long time since Arsenal competing in the Champions League, competing for major honours. You know, the patience is, is wearing thin. But when you look at it, it is going to take time. And I, I, personally, I think, even if you change the manager, you look at generally the infrastructure, the squad they've got, it's going to take a bit of time. I think it'll take longer than two to 